In this video, we're going to be covering the alpha options. This stuff is actually incredibly important. So if you have any questions about this, please head on over to the Discord. There's a link in the description below. Don't ask questions about this in the YouTube comments. It's really hard to answer technical questions there. All right, let's get started. This is something that people's models would look way better with if they understood how the alpha options worked. A lot of people use weird settings, they come in the Discord server, they ask questions, almost no one understands the alpha options. So let's cover them. First things first, we're going to cover the alpha mod. A lot of people use this weirdly and incorrectly. All this is doing is modifying your alpha. It's adding or subtracting to your alpha value. So in this case, we have the transparent shader. It is 50% opaque, as you can see by this white and black line at the bottom of the color. And then the alpha mod is just going to sort of add to that so we can make it more opaque or less opaque. That's all it does. You use this if your texture isn't quite right, like your alpha values in the texture aren't quite right and you just want to adjust them. You don't correct like weird things with this generally. A lot of people confuse this with the alpha cutoff, which I'll cover next. This is not alpha cutoff you can achieve similar results because changing your alpha will change where things are being cut off but like just know that all you're doing is adding and subtracting to the alpha value all right let's cover the alpha cutoff so basically what this is doing is anything below the cutoff value is just going to not exist so i have a an alpha map on this it's just this texture that you see and the black values are close to zero, not quite zero, but they're close to zero. And then if I move above, say I set this to point 0.1, all those values that were pretty close to zero are now being just cut off entirely. So you can see here. And then as I increase this, it's going to cut off more and more. Now you're going to see this dithering effect, which is what these little dots are. And that's because dithering is enabled. If you turn that off, you won't get that. All right, let me just lower this to something reasonable. There we go. Next up, we have dithering. So let me actually select the right thing. Dithering is just sort of for faking a smoother edge. And that's literally it. You can fake a an edge to make it look sort of like it's not the cutout shader and it's more of a transparent shader like this. Because with cutout, you can't get these sort of soft um, transparencies. But with dithering set up correctly, you can get something pretty similar. So you can see here, this is <clears throat> this is uh, fairly dithered. But it's still, it doesn't look super good. You can still very clearly see that. And you can adjust that by messing with the dither gradient. So the dither gradient is sort of what values are getting dithered. Right now it's just set to one, so it's gonna dither from zero opacity to one opacity. And you can mess that mess with that so it's only dithering from say like 0.35 to zero. And you can just sort of it's just adjusting where the gradient lies. That is all that does. But as you can tell it's still not looking very transparent. And to be fair you're never gonna look perfectly transparent with the cutout shader because you're limited to sort of your anti-aliasing options. So in this scene right now, I have eight times MSAA enabled. So you actually get eight levels of transparency. So I can show you that by disabling dithering and then enabling alpha to coverage. And you can see those eight levels. But I'm gonna cover that in a second. So just know that that's a thing. This one is the force opaque option. It literally just forces a model to be opaque. If you have a texture that has transparency that you don't want, you just click this and it's all gone. You will just be totally opaque. This one is the shadow clip mod. So sometimes you have like a shadow on the ground like this and you look through, you can look through the mesh and sometimes that shadow will be cut off. So I can show you that right here. So sometimes there's a shadow on the ground, but looking through looking through the mesh will like hide it. 
So let me see if I can show that. It's kind of tricky. It's a bug that sort of pops up rarely. So right here, I'm looking through this mesh and I don't see a shadow on the ground. But when I look at the ground, there's a shadow. That can come, that can happen when you have sort of really specific shadow settings and it's really obvious on a model where you like say you have like clothes and the bottoms are cut off and the bottoms are hiding shadows in the background you can use the shadow clip mod to sort of adjust that and make it so it doesn't do that and that's pretty useful for very specific situations normally I would just not mess with this the majority of the time the shader is going to handle it correctly but just know that if you have that issue, this is where you go to fix that. <clears throat> and this one is where I'm going to show you how to make things look properly transparent. So this is still the cutout shader, but we're getting really smooth transitions. It actually looks very transparent. And that's because this one's using those eight layers of opacity that I was talking about before. So what's happening here is we're enabling alpha to coverage, which is going to give you those eight layers if you're on MSAA times eight, which the default settings for VR chat actually do use that. If you're on desktop low settings or VR low, or I'm not sure which one it is, but the default settings use eight times MSAA. So if you're on lower settings, you may not see this. So be aware that everyone that plays the game might not see your model the way you see it. And by default, the editor actually doesn't have MSAA, so you might have to go into your game view to look at stuff correctly. The, the way this works is you get eight layers, and then I set the alpha cutoff to zero because we don't actually want to cut off anything. We just want to see those layers entirely. So I enable the alpha to coverage, and then I will go in and mess with the dither gradient until I get something that sort of looks how I want. So you're going to need dithering on, and then you mess with this gradient until it looks how you want your transparency to look. So something like that looks good to me. And then there's two more options below that. There's sharpened alpha to coverage. What that's for is sharpening your edge. So you have something like this, and these edges can get really jagged. And, you're, and when you move far away, you sort of get... um your mip maps so it'll when you move far away from a model you can see lower resolution textures on that model and that can actually mess with your transparency so your sharp edges like this will sort of move around and get lower resolution sharpened alpha to coverage will actually help deal with that so when you're really far away it's not messing with those edges as much and you adjust that with this mip map you only really have to worry about this if you're doing something like foliage, like leaves, or like you have like maybe um, like a trellis sort of effect where you have um, like a screen door of transparency and you have really tight requirements for your transparency. Generally, you're probably never going to want this, but there are certain situations where it does look a lot better. I can't show it to you on this because it's just not set up for it but know that this helps with things like stacked leaves and all kinds of stuff like that so let's go back to not being cut off and that smooth alpha this is really good if you you have a model that say has blush on the same material as the face you don't want to make the whole face transparent because it's not like you only want to use transparency on things that are actually transparent so Using this on your blush and face at the same time will make sure your face is still fully opaque, but your blush has a sort of smooth transition. And then you don't have to worry about making extra materials for opacity and transparency and all that. All right, this covers everything in the alpha options. Again, if you had any questions about this at all, please direct them to the Discord server. There's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.